Welcome to a daily dose of good news on Wednesday, April the 8th. Uh, today, I visit with you from Cardiff Woods next to our house. Uh, brief story from the life of our family. Uh, 20 years ago, when we moved into this house, Annika was five years old. The night we moved in, we sat on the side porch and overlooked Cardiff Woods, uh, which to me looked like a wonderful play space uh, for growing up years. And I said as much to Annika, I said, Annika, look at the woods. Don't you want to go and play out there? And she goes, oh, no, Daddy. That's the scary jungle. <laughs> and I realized that every image of a jungle or a wood she'd ever seen came from a Disney movie that scared the daylights out of her. But I looked at her, I said, Annika, your mother and I just overpaid to live next to this woods. You're going to enjoy it. But of course, she has. Today, I enjoy it. And I hope you can enjoy it, too, as we gather around God's word for us um, in this Holy Week, Wednesday. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior, suffered at human hands and endured the shame of the cross. Grant that we may walk in the way of his cross and find it the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm hoping that uh, my voice is carrying well enough here in the woods. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Our suffering servant song comes from Isaiah, the 49th chapter. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you people that are far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I am glorified. But I said, I've labored in vain and spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the sight of the Lord. And my God has become my strength, he said, is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations." My salvation shall reach the ends of the earth. Here ends the reading. Now readings from the epistles on the way of the cross, Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself for sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Here ends the reading. In our Holy Week readings from the Gospel of St. Matthew, today the 26th chapter, the 1st through the 16th verses. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. 
Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, who is called Caiaphas, and they conspired to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as she sat at table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What will you give me if I betray him? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Loving God, although the world rejected your son Jesus, and there's clo those closest betrayed and denied him, he loved them still. All of them, including us. Please forgive the ways we reject, betray, and deny the way of selflessness that he has shown to us, that we with clean hearts and right spirits might turn and follow him again even in the face of our own suffering. Sustain our confidence that you will see us through this pandemic emergency so that our faith may be of service to strengthening others too. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. With the confidence then of God's children, we pray together the prayer our Lord taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bring you unto everlasting life. Amen. A few announcements as we close our morning prayer time this Wednesday. A little earlier than usual, we have Bible study at 10.15 uh, this morning. So I'm uh, recording uh, live a little earlier in the morning and available than the rest of the day. I would like to bring you up to date on prayer concerns. First of all, Pastor um, Sally Padgett and uh, Katya Broadbeck, they are uh, both doing better from their coronavirus uh, symptoms. Certainly not back in circulation yet. Uh, but on the men, we give thanks to God for that. Alice Larimer also is in great spirits. One has a wonderful perspective on being laid up these three weeks. She goes, at least I'm not missing anything because everybody else is missing everything as well. So uh, she is doing very well. Uh, Wes Jones, too, is on the men from his flu. And Bill Eubanks is recovering strong after his last chemotherapy and radiation treatment last week. So well, in fact, that he will be serving as uh, one of the lay readers for us in our Holy Week services uh, the next several days. Thanks be to God for that. I would encourage you to join us for those services. All of them can be found at engagedbygrace.org slash live stream. At any time during the day, the most recent worship service will be playing there. And then when it's time for the next one, we'll flip the switch and we'll have the service available at that um, internet link. It is also available, uh, it's the leftmost tab on the uh, church website at www.engagedbygrace.org. Uh, says online worship, 
you can click down and it'll uh, have the worship stream for you, as well as an archive of all the other worship services and uh, daily good news episodes uh, that we have offered these last several weeks. So coming up tomorrow, we'll be uh, Monday, Thursday, we will be uh, live streaming that sort of as a backstage worship at 1030 in the morning on Zoom webinar for those of you who have uh, Zoom software. If you'd like to get it, I'd be glad to help you with that if you'd like to be in touch. Uh, then it will be available the rest of the day, but we're pointing people towards 7 o'clock in the evening, our normal time for uh, Monday, Thursday services as a wonderful time to gather around God's Word, even from our homes. The same pattern will hold then for Friday. We will uh, gather for um, live webinar worship at 1030 in the morning, sort of that backstage experience uh, that will then uh, be uploaded and available for worship all day on Good Friday but in particular, 7 o'clock when we have uh, generally worshipped together in Holy Week. As we had previously advertised, we will um, indeed offer our service of lament and healing this week as well. Uh, that will be live streamed 1030 in the morning. You're getting a theme here on Saturday. Um, but that will not be recorded. It will not be presented for streaming later in the day. Uh, but rather a, a single moment of opportunity for people to come together in a Zoom meeting so everyone will have opportunity to have uh, their words heard and their faces seen uh, to share any prayer concerns that the uh, community might uphold with them. Again, that's at 1030 Saturday morning. And then our live webinar worship for Easter uh, will be broadcast at 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Uh, in time to be available for our 8.30 and 10.30 worship services, uh, Easter celebrations on Sunday. Lots is going to be different, but lots will be new in the midst of all this, uh, not the least of which, unfortunately, we will not be having a um, Easter egg hunt this year for the children. Uh, but I...